luckily we've just found a place to park right outside where we're staying in the Airbnb. It's only free to park here today though, so we're gonna put the stuff in the room and have some lunch and stuff and then move the car. We move it to a, like a free place for the rest of the time we're staying here. <laughs> This to open the door. Yeah. This one uh, downstairs the gate. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, that's gave my legs a workout walking up them stairs. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, well, we are artists. <laughs> Perfect. Did you paint this as well? Yes. That's amazing. I really like that. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Do you have any bother? Oh yeah, yeah we're in the center so just to, here you have uh, the nightlife and the bars, restaurants all in this street. Okay. So we've just checked into the Airbnb and the guy showed us around. It's a really nice area, everything looks really nice. But he did say that Granada is this close to going to lockdown. So we're kind of just hoping really that there's no lockdown while we're here, but we'll see. Uh, we're just gonna have some lunch and then we'll probably have a stall around and see what's about. Back up the stairs. <laughs> this is a workout before we've even left. <laughs> it's really nice that we've got this terrace area though. Yeah. Oh. Just gonna text my mum, it's how I got here, say. So if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you'll know that every time me and Ronan go somewhere, we always take tuna pasta, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Yeah, the guy who's doing the Airbnb seems really cool. He just showed us around and showed us which direction to go to do all the things. And he's actually a photographer. Or was it his roommate who's a photographer? His roommate's, his roommate's a photographer and he's like an artist and he was showing us all his artwork and stuff. And it's brilliant. So they just seem like really nice people. I'm just praying we don't go into lockdown while we're here. Yeah. That'd be awful. Yeah, we get to home. That's the reason why we've decided to do a road trip and not fly anywhere because if anything like that happens, we know we can get home and we're only a few hours drive away. We don't have to rely on planes or anything like that. So in that kind of sense, I'm not worried, but I just hope it doesn't happen. It would ruin our trip. So we've just finished our lunch and kind of unpacked. I've unpacked. Ronan hasn't. <laughs> what we're going to do now is move the car to somewhere that's free parking for the rest of our stay and then just kind of stroll back into this area and we're thinking we might go around the Moroccan kind of area because there's like a Moroccan market, loads of Moroccan food and stuff. Um, but we're going to play it by ear because I think the first time we ever go anywhere, the first thing we like to do really is just kind of just stroll around and get a feel for the place, don't we? We don't really yeah. like to have too many plans. I think we'll just play it by ear. So we just found out that you can't actually drive through or park in the centre of Granada. Now we got in there today because it's Sunday, but um, from tomorrow we're going to have to find some place else to put the car. So we just found a spot here at the other over side of the, the river, bridge. over the bridge. It's all free parking. Free in parking, area. which is good. So then we're just going to leave the car there for yeah. a few days. I'll leave a screenshot on the map of where we actually park so you can see the free zones where you're allowed to leave the car. to the Arabian district and to get here from where we're staying we're walking up like the main shopping area but we've just turned down here and you can already see the buildings are starting to look a bit more Arabic so it looks really cool oh my god oh my god this shop looks amazing we have to go in here let's go in Let's go to Alcaytheria. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is where it is. This is the bit I 
I've been so excited to see. I love everything I do. This is literally my kind of shop. So we've just walked in and there's like a whole stand where you can like make your own incense sticks. And now there's all like tea leaves and different herbs and spices and you can get it all fresh. This is just like my kind of thing. I absolutely love it. Different soaps, all different kinds of soaps. Rose. I knew it. it. Smells just like Turkish light. I love that smell. What else is there? Honey. Jam. <laughs> is it nice? It's really nice. Is it? Really nice. Smell it. No, it smells so fruity. I thought it was cannabis. This really smells really fruity. It smells like it's berries. Well. I actually really like the smell of that. So now we're in the whole Moroccan themed mood. We've just Googled a Moroccan themed tea house and it's literally like a five minutes walk from here. So we're going to try and find it. And the pictures from Google look amazing. So I'm so excited to see it. I think there's a few Moroccan tea houses in here. Oh, this is it. at the menu and as we get there's so many choices of different teas stuff that I've never even tried before. Merlin's gonna go for apple and cinnamon was it and I'm gonna go for fresh mint and lemon and they come in these like really cute little tea pots and stuff so I'm really excited I love tea. Anyone who knows me knows I love my tea. Look at the little teapot you get. That's lovely. I can't wait to try them. It's not what I was expecting actually. I was expecting that really minty, but it's actually more lemony than minty. I'm quite. It's alright. It's not my favourite tea I've ever taken. It's alright. So what's your honest review of your tea? It's nice. But... It could be nicer. Yeah, I agree. I never put sugar in anything, especially tea. And I've had to put like half a sugar in because it's really strong. I don't know if it is just the lemon or the black tea. It's just really strong, so a bit bitter. But it's a bit nicer with the sugar. But I think I'll go for a different flavour next time. I'm not mega keen.
was really nice. Um, I wasn't that impressed with the tea. I definitely want to go for a different one next time, but it was a really nice experience. On the way out, I didn't notice before, but there was like um, Moroccan sweets and different like desserts and sort of like picky food. Yeah, it looked nice. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking, not at the minute, because we're going to go for like a proper dinner now, but definitely going to go to one of these yeah, Moroccan tea houses, yeah. like maybe tomorrow or the next day, or both. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day and get different types of tea, try them and get some like picky foods and see what we think. This is such a beautiful area. I love how there's all like Moroccan stalls all the way up. There's loads of tea houses, it's lovely. Oh, you can get henna here as well. <laughs> it's so quirky here. I'm loving it already. Yeah, yeah it's really nice. <laughs> So we've just found this beautiful looking Moroccan style restaurant and you get two courses for 8 50 So I think we're just gonna have a mix aren't we and we can just try each other's and yeah, quite it looks gorgeous in here. So we've decided to go for four different dishes so that we can just have them in the middle and pick what we like. And... Yeah, yeah, just mix it up a little to get a taste of Moroccan. Yeah, so we've gone for... Falafel. <laughs> Falafel. Aubergine. What's the other thing? And then we got the vegetable couscous. Is it ta tagine? Oh yeah, the tagine. I've never heard of it, so I'm really excited to try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty. I've had it before, but we've gone for a vegetable one, which yeah. should be nice. Yeah, I'm really yeah. looking forward to trying it. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. That actually smells just like my cooking at home. I cook a lot of Moroccan food, so I've got a lot to live up to. It smells incredible, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's dig in and we'll tell you what we think. Mmm, what is that? Is that must be the aubergine? That's the aubergine, yeah. That's lovely. Mm. How nice is that? I'm gonna have to learn how to make that. Right, let's try this. I wonder what this is on top, maybe like a garlicky sauce? I'd say it's hummus. It's a, yeah, it's hummus. Do you know what a fluffle's made of? Fluff? <laughs> oh my god. My friend Becca, you're probably watching this actually, she has told me to try falafel for so long and I've never actually got around to it. So Becca, this is for you. Hmm. That's surprising, really nice. Yeah, I really like that. That is actually lovely. And I've never tried these foods before, so it's really nice to have something different for a change because I've always been a fussy eater growing up and everywhere I go, I'm usually like, pasta aren't I? I'm really boring when it comes to going to restaurants. So I said as soon as we come on this holiday I says that every night we want to try different foods and not stick to the same as I always have. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Let's try it. Nice. Oh. Hot. Mm. So, we're just looking and there's olives in here and neither of us have ever tried an olive, so... Well, I have, I think. Have you? I know, I think I don't like them, but I don't think I've tried them in, like, years. Let's try one together and see how we get on. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I horrible. I knew I didn't like them. Ah, I remember eating Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh my god, it's all right. Get some carrot quickly. Oh god. <laughs> no. That was my first and last time ever trying an olive. <laughs> no, do not like that at all. So we're just getting the bill. We're absolutely stuffed. And I'm making Ronan go and get it because he doesn't really speak that much Spanish. And I said, this trip is his chance to practice a little bit of Spanish. So I'm gonna make him say the bill or just random things everywhere we go just to get him speaking it. But that was such a lovely dinner. I would recommend this restaurant. I mean, there's loads of Moroccan restaurants around this area. So I don't think it matters which one you choose really. They all look very similar but I would recommend this one, it's really nice. And I've just said to Ronan, I would like to walk around the Moroccan stalls and buy a few souvenirs and maybe a few little gifts and stuff for a few people. So yeah, well, I'll take you with us, see what I buy. Oh my God, I've just had the most eventful thing happen. You might be wondering why my eyes look like I've been crying. It's because I have been. Literally, we went for food and when the bill came, I was looking for my purse 
couldn't find it at all. I emptied out everything. And then I just went into pure panic mode. And then Ronan was like, where did you have it last? I was like, the tea house, literally. We were so lucky that the tea house was only like two minutes walk from where we just had dinner. So we went back in there and I looked and it was literally under the bench where we were sitting. So I was just so emotional. I just couldn't stop crying, just out of relief. And just really happy that like, obviously no one took it. Wow. I just feel so lucky. That's just made my day. So. I think I need to go and spend it all now. She should say, I feel so lucky, so another time. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. When we checked into the Airbnb, the guy says to us, you've came at the worst time because apparently now all bars have got to shut at like 10 p.m. and everyone's got to go straight home. So I wasn't expecting much nightlife at all. I was expecting it to be dead, but there's actually a really nice like atmosphere around the city. What do you think? Yeah, it's, like, it's good. Quite busy, it's really nice. I wasn't expecting anyone to be walking around at all. So, so because the bar's shut at 10 p.m., we've come for a quick drink because we've only got about half an hour left until we've got to go back to the room. So having a quick drink to finish the night off. We've had such an amazing day. Next time, we visit the beautiful Alhambra Palace. This might just be one of the most stunning places I've ever been to. I can't wait to show you.